Crucible is an amazing place. The mission statement here is that we inspire creativity in everyone. But what that really means is that we are a school that teaches people how to make the things that their imagination comes up with. We see people pretty much come from everywhere to the Crucible. People who want to express themselves artistically, people who have never touched a tool before, who are just curious about the process, and you know what, they all have a good time. I think that, that the experience that they get from this is the opportunity to create something, find out something about themselves, meet some really fun people, and have an object at the end of the day that they can take home and look at every now and then and say, wow, I made that. Folks can come and learn to weld on a weekend. Um, they can come to build a, a small project um, to uh, connect with other folks who are, who are working in uh, the industrial arts. And um, it, it's an accessible resource for, um, for the community. We have programs in a lot of disciplines. Our blacksmithing studio who gives our students the opportunity to make wearable jewelry, spoons, knives, other implements. We have three different types of welding studios where people can make sculpture, utilitarian objects. Our foundry makes decorative objects as well as functional things. Glass blowing, flame working can make different decorative and useful items. We have woodworking where people can make cars, wooden spoons that they can carve themselves and much more. of adults come here for classes and when I say all kinds I really mean it. We have stay-at-home parents. We have companies who bring groups of their employees here for a day just to get their hands off the computer and off the phone. We have professional artists who've been doing things for 20 years and make their living as artists but want to learn a new skill. And then we have people who are complete beginners. They've never taken an art class before. They don't know the first thing about welding or blowing glass, but they're taking the step to say, hey, I want to try that. And those are the people we're really interested in because we know that if you get started here, you're very interested in taking more classes because it's addictive, it's incredibly fun. The passion that our instructors, our faculty bring to this place. We have over 5,000 students come through every year. We have hundreds and hundreds of classes. And they all feel like they're part of a community of makers, a community of people who are excited about what we do. And it's that passion for what they do, I think, that really makes this such an infectious place and that people feel such a connection. The industrial arts has tended traditionally to be um, less accessible for girls and for women. So we've developed a women's specific program outside of the mixed gender classes um, where women only can come and learn uh, welded sculpture, blacksmithing. We want to create value um, with our young girls around the accessibility and that the appreciation of building and fabricating and working with metal. Right now we have our youth camps going and almost all the instructors here talk about the fact that when adults come through the door with something in their mind, kids have absolutely no boundaries. They're much more able and willing to just disregard all the rules and make something the way they think it should be made. My name is Casey, and I made this whale shark kind of thing. My name is Rowan Pearl, and I made this glass jellyfish. My name is Kai, and I made this glass Christmas ornament. Hi, my name is Katia Navidad, and I made this flower sculpture made out of metal. My name is Lawrence Allen, and I'm making a spinning gyroscope. So we'll get our distance we just marked on this side. We want to be super conscious not to overheat them, because the grease and these plastic parts are going to want to fuse and melt down. We're working, but it's like we're playing because it's it's so fun. Everyone here tells jokes and it's like we have our own little family in here. I absolutely love it. Best place ever. It's fantastic because it's so hands-on and because there's no other way to have this experience. Uh, the, the tools that are here, the teachers that are here, the actual location, the building, it's just, there's a vibe, it's fantastic. They got more and more excited, especially in the glass blowing, like every day, you couldn't wait to come in and try something new and different, and that was, that was really cool. I walked in today and I was astonished, it's amazing. I mean, it goes in so many different directions, and uh, 
It's beautiful. I had worried that we would end up with a big art project that would sit on the deck for years, but I'll be proud of this. The crucible, in my mind, is a crucible. It's a place where different elements come together and make something new and unique. We provide that opportunity for different parts of the Bay Area maker community and others to come together and express themselves in ways that really aren't available elsewhere. It's a really unique space. It's a really unique maker space. And that's part of what makes it such a really exciting part of the Bay Area fabric. There's really nowhere else like it out there.